Well, usually you're on the sideline. Now you're back on the quarter at Xfinity Center. This is Jimmy Patsos, legendary Maryland Terp. Uh, you're an Under Armour guy. You seem to like Coach Willard. Tell me what jumps out about him. I've known Kevin Willard for a long time. Uh, he was in Boston. I'm a Celtic. I grew up in Boston. So when he coached for the Celtics, I got to know him a little. And then, of course, you know, we played against him in Pittsburgh. You don't meet people like that. I got to know him as a coach. Then on the road at Louisville, then we coached against each other. When I was at Loyola, he was at Iona, and then, of course, Seton Hall. Kevin Willard's a good guy. He's fair but firm, but he's fun. And we need fun around here. And he makes people better on the court. I think one thing he does really well is he knows how to get the collective for three or four months, meaning the team, better. But he knows in the offseason you have to make individuals better. And that's a rare mix these days. You've got to worry about the team, but you have to make guys better. Everyone who I went, he went through his program, I visit him for my job at Under Armour. So Seton Hall, I've gone there. They get better. Different guys, you know, big guys get better at certain things. Miles Powell really got better. He's made individuals better, and his kids really love him. I also see him after wins and losses in the background, and I see his former players and how he deals with the high school coaches, and it's all a really good energy, and it's an authentic energy, and I think that's, he's very authentic. But like I said, he knows how to, you know, do lots of things about the, basketball's a business that you have to do a lot of things, and he can do a lot of those. A basketball question. Why do his teams do so well against the Big Ten? I think because he plays a physical style in the Big East. Now, he plays a little slower. He'll he'll run up and down, you know, sometimes, but he can grind it out, and he did do well. He went to Michigan and won this year, which is a hard place to win. And you know what else he did is he plays a challenging schedule. He's played Kentucky in the Garden. I saw him play Texas and Yale this year. Yale's into the NCAA, by the way. In other words, that's two NCAA teams he played home and home. I've seen him play. He'll play anybody. He goes to Michigan and takes the big challenge there. But I think his physicality, and he can, he can you know, the Big Ten, you, everyone wants to run and press, but it's hard when the league's a little bit of a grinded-out league, and he can adapt that way. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm at 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Right, Bruce Paz, are you coming in here? Listen, Jimmy, the Big Ten, nine teams in, only two teams make the Sweet 16. Last year, nine teams in, only one team makes it. Are they going to pay a price for that next year? You know, it's a conversation that's, that's a great question. First of all, Iowa won the tournament, it took a lot out of them, then they got, you know, beat by Richmond, who was hot, who played their way into the tournament. There's no excuses to be made. I was at the Wisconsin game. Wisconsin's point guard goes down. He wasn't the best player, Johnny Davis was, but he was their most important player, their freshman point guard. He made him go. So they had a little bit of bad luck. I saw Michigan come back against Colorado State and win. And Purdue, I saw play, and Purdue dismantled Yale. So remember, you know what Coach K mentioned this, Coach Krzyzewski, who's retiring? The ACC never worried about how many teams got in. They worried about somebody being in the Final Four and cutting down the nets. And you look at the history of the ACC, Carolina Duke, the Big Ten, nobody's won it since 2000 with Michigan State. In other words, having nine teams is a really good thing. Having a team in the Final Four is what Coach K and the ACC went with. And I know that because when Coach Williams led us and I was on the staff, it was a little bit of a welcome to the group. Wait, what group? The Final Four group. And I was like, wow, okay. And then Georgia Tech, Paul, you and I talked about it when they went. In other words, maybe the Big Ten should, what they do to do, I don't have an answer how they do that, but nine teams is great, but how many teams can we get in the Final Four and can we win a national championship? Is it coaching? Is it facilities? Is it everything? Because the network's great. It's a great league. Are they a little bit of a beat? Maybe they beat each other up a little bit. These are just theories, but. 10 and 10 has gotten a Big Ten team th th in. And that's the good part about getting in, but does that but, get you championships? Right, but. Like Notre Dame was 15 and five in the ACC and had a play in, you know. Are we going to see maybe? Well, that, in other words, I'm agreeing with you that I don't have any answers. I mean, I do media, I also do basketball for Under Armour. I'm around the game. No one has a perfect crystal ball, but it is a great question, Bruce. Because what I'm saying is, I'm agreeing with you. I don't know what the answer is, but because maybe the league's so good, they're beating up each other. And remember. 
having teams in the tournament gives you a chance. Nine out of 68 teams. Right. Hey, the Maryland Terrapins this year were the, the next team out. That shows you how close they were. Now, nobody went to the NIT, but I, I'm with you. I don't have an answer. It's a fascinating study. It's but scary. I, I heard I'd it. rather have a lot of teams in if I was a coach because my job depends on going here. If I'm trying to win a national champions like Gary Williams and Coach Krzyzewski and Roy Williams, then I guess I want a team that can win it all. Who wins it all, Jimmy? That's the last question this year. I think Kansas because they have the easiest route, but I got Kansas and Gonzaga playing. Okay. Thank you, Jimmy. See you guys. <laughs> Pleasure.